Hello, uh, today I want to do a short review of the Apache AL13 uh, laminator. So this laminator, it allows you to laminate anything that has a width of 13 inches and down. So 13 inches is the maximum that it can laminate. Um, this laminator I bought for my girlfriend, she's a kindergarten teacher. Uh, and I always saw her going back and forth to the teacher store, you know, for laminating different documents and things like that. So I figured, alright, why not just look on Amazon and see what they have. And this is the one we bought. Um, so I bought this one for her. And um, so far, I mean, it's been working great. No issues. Uh, just to go through a few of the things on the unit. So you can see this is the unit right here. Uh, it's fairly small. It's really not that big. Uh, right now, I just have it on a cutting mat just because I don't want to put something that gets hot on top of wood flooring um, so just to go through the unit on the front is the slot where you put the document in with the laminating pouch um, on the far right side you'll see two lights there's a power light and a ready light um, the power light is what turns on once you first turn on the unit and then after about four minutes when the unit's heated up this green light turns on and on the top you can see there's a couple of vents um, I'm guessing that's to let some of the hot air out just so the unit doesn't overheat um, on the side let me see if you can see it um, there's a switch you can select off hot or cold um, this I'm, I'm new to using a laminator um, but I'm sure my girlfriend would know but I'm not sure what the cold is for I'm guessing you can buy pouches that you can do cold laminating with um, but you have the off and then you have the hot hot is uh, what I'm gonna be showing today and then you have the back of the unit which has the cord and a switch for ABS so if anything ever gets jammed in there or anything like that I'm, I'm guessing that's what that switch is for um, overall the size of the unit is it's very small um, and on the bottom you can see the sticker this has CE certification so uh, for those worried about any kind of fire hazards and things like that I'm hoping that this has uh, you know electronics built into it that has overheat protection and things like that uh, this plugs into a standard 110 volt outlet and when we received this it came with a uh, about I'd say 25 um, sample pouches that we can use um, I wouldn't suggest using this for pouches that are above um, five millimeters I believe uh, let me see I believe that's but the ones that we have there they're just regular standard three um, and that's what we've been using and it's been working fine um, and you want to keep it away from any kind of corners, anything that's, you know, pushed up against the table or anything like that. You want to be in an open area. And if you're doing more than, I'd say, 50 laminations, uh, you know, within an hour span, then you might not want to use this because it's not a you know, heavy-duty type of unit. But if you're a teacher and you need to laminate a few things a day, then this is perfect for you. And I believe on Amazon it was for 30 bucks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and laminate something just to show exactly how it works. Uh, I printed this weather wheel. Uh, my girlfriend needed this for her class. So I, I went on Photoshop and made some changes onto this thing and I'm going to laminate that. Um, so let me try to put this inside the pouch while I'm holding the camera. So as you can see, the pouch opens up on one end and then you're going to slide in whatever you need to get laminated onto the inside of the pouch and then you close it on top okay. and now what I like to do also is uh, put some type of a book on the back uh, you can see that there's a slot where the laminating 
uh, whatever you're laminating comes out of. So just so you don't bend or crease whatever you're laminating, it's a good idea to kind of have something there that's about the same size as the slot. Um, and what you do next is you put the closed end first. So this is the opening and this is the closed end. So this is where we slid the document in from. Uh, and now what we're going to do is you just put this in here slowly and then you'll get to a point where you feel the rollers just kind of take grab of the the document that you're laminating and it'll just automatically start taking it in. Um, just due to this, this, this video might become a little longer but I figured for people interested in this they might want to see exactly how it's done so you can see that it's uh it goes in fairly quickly i think overall it takes about a minute for one document to uh, get laminated so you can see now on the other end it's ejecting the laminated document and you can see uh, over here it's you know, it doesn't go in that clear, but once it's coming out, uh, it comes out nice and clear. You see that it's coming out over here. Yeah, when I'm laminating right now, it's a weather wheel. So I guess for you teachers out there, you might know what this is for. But, uh, let's wait for this to come out. Alright, and then you'll notice that it stops coming out and you can at that point just pull it out. So um, the side that comes out last is still a little bit hot, but you know, it's nothing that's going to burn you. And there you go. You have your laminated document. This is on a three, uh, three millimeter pouch, I believe that's what they're called. Um, and it's said that it's supposed to go up to seven, but for most of your general needs, I think three is fine. Um, even five it can do but I don't see why you would need that as well but if we do it can do five as well um, so that's that's pretty much it as far as the laminator goes um, if you guys have any questions you can put in the comment section uh, I don't really use this thing too often but if you do have any questions I can ask my girlfriend and uh, get back to you guys all right take care guys bye